What if I told you guys that 95% of people who lose weight through dieting and exercise for like events, uh, weddings, parties, New Year's resolution, gain it all back and some within a year. So all those, you know, weight programs like Jenny Craig, Slim Fast, Weight Watchers are like gold mines because people return to them again and again. Food can be like drugs and sex. Let's get into this video. Cartel got me working for the big faces. Federally got my car full of brick cases. Hit the pin with a grin, there ain't no faking. I was picked to my back for my shoelaces. Got out, should've seen the look on they faces. All jealous cause your boy stacking hella paper. Set up by the crew, they done put a banger. In the trunk of my car and left me to hang there. No thing, then attorney went and beat the case. Got a job digging holes for minimum wage. Had a dream that Cato said he proud of me. Stay here, don't leave, keep doing your thing. Quit the drugs, but you know I went back to selling, six times failing. I went back to prison, got my head right, got my bread right. Push these weights like a kilo in a tailpipe. Trying to do right, I got a mission. Trying to get back to my boys in the prison. The old me's gone, I ain't never. What's up guys, my name is JC, I am Ground Strong. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss nothing. If you're part of my team, if you're familiar, if you're Masa, you already know what time it is. So tell us so good, man, because we're about to see Jesus. What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Ground Strong. All in your name, all in your glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God, for what you've done in my life. Thank you. <laughs> I love it. Happy Sunday, guys. 69% of Americans are overweight or obese. So, all those quick systems, you know, like Jenny Craig, Weight Watchers, all that, they don't work. There is no quick fix for this. Many people are addicted to food. Hey, I'm one of them. <laughs> Tasty food is addicting just like drugs. The food that you eat increases the dopamine levels in your brain. Dopamine is a stimulant that triggers cravings and you start to obsess about food and then it becomes a sin, <laughs> leading to overeating. So you eat and you get hungry and you eat again. Sound familiar? Just like drugs and sin, you want to stop but you can't stop eating. You need Jesus. <laughs> you know I gotta make it fun, guys. If you're overweight or obese, you run the risk of strokes, heart disease, back pain, poor health, premature death. I mean, the list goes on and on. 51% of Americans want to lose weight, but only 20% make an effort. 95% who lose the weight gain it back. We went over that. So learn to track, learn to weigh your food, learn to eat healthy. The phrase, your body is a temple, is, it's been used for decades now by Christians and non-Christians. So what does it really mean? As Christians, how should we honor that? It does define what a temple is. The temple was a holy place where people would meet to worship, make sacrifices, and make pleas to God. A healthy body, both physical and spiritually, is the key. I didn't know that until my walk. <laughs> You know, that's why I like my whole fitness <laughs> career agenda, whatever you want to call it. You know, I put God first now, but I have, I, I know today that today I am the healthiest, the strongest, 
physically and spiritually fit, I call it. God's concerned about our health. It's all over scripture. Our Sabbath is dedicated to the Lord, to love Him and rest. He wants us to rest. We should labor, but then we should also take rest. Tired soldiers are no good. Love what God has given you, your body. This means that our bodies are not our own, but of God. And that is why we should be clear and pure of unnecessary impurities in our body. Paul encourages us in scripture to remember that our bodies do not belong to us but to God. God created everyone with a purpose built for something that only that person could do through him. The soldier trains to keep his equipment ready for battle. The athlete trains and is careful not to do anything that would harm him his ability to finish the race. The farmer works day and night, daily to provide food for untold numbers. Our calling is great. The Lord will provide. Today and every day I choose to be wrong to strong because God made me in his image. Thank you, Jesus. Faith, family, and fitness, wrong and strong. Hey, my name's JC. I am wrong and strong. Don't judge nobody. Stay in your lane. Live savage. And remember, live for him. I got to go to church. Catch you guys on the rebound.